Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 21st, 2021. Well, we had a pretty ugly end of the week. And by the way, I just want to say thank you to everyone. All of the well wishes, um, all of the um, happy birthdays and happy Father's Day um, wishes. Thank you so much, everyone. Very kind as I took that three-day weekend to spend with some family. Thank you so much. But we had kind of a rough um, day on Friday with some serious selling and we created some technical damage in the chart. But what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see um, if we can gain some information here about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, one of the things that we see in a market like we're experiencing right now is that all or nothing kind of energy. So what I mean is we don't do too many things small. I wrote in the blog this morning, we don't do too many things with modest gains and losses anymore. It's either we um, rush in or we run for the doors. There's not much in between. Um, it's all big price moves. Um, when we see the possibility, and I'm not suggesting this is a market top, but when we see the possibility of a market top, what we have to prepare ourselves for is the possibility of really big price moves throughout the day. What that can mean is we can be in great positions um, when we run into the close of the day and the next morning they can completely reverse and vice versa. We can also see big intraday price swings um, as we sort out the emotion of the market. And there are more and more economists starting to chime in suggesting that a 10 to 20% correction may be beginning. And what that usually means is a lot of volatility, a lot of challenges. So you want to be really, really careful in it here. I know that the desire to rush in and buy the dip is there oh my gosh i'm going to miss out and we're going to see some price action that's going to make us think that everything is copacetic again and it may not be so when we when we're watching these charts be really really careful as we rush up toward price resistance levels in the chart and with that said let's take a look at the diamonds now the diamonds broke down some significant levels of price support and um, it broke down its 50-day moving average um, well up here so we're way below the 50-day moving average and a very very common pattern that we experience in the market when we break like this is that possibility that we rally back and it could struggle to rally back just a little bit we can have some big price swings in here that rally back possibility and notice that our 50-day moving average is starting to turn and our shorter term moving averages are lining up here to create a level of resistance. So you're w going to wanna be really watchful as we rally back up. And I do expect us to rally back up. How far we rally, that's gonna be the question. We could run into price resistance here and do more of a sideways move and continue to fail. We could rally back significantly, rally back up into here See that 50-day moving average as it's declining, run into that area and start to extend the downtrend. Now, if we get a failure that is below the 50-day moving average, okay, below that 50-day moving average or near that 50-day moving average, please keep in mind that the next possible target in the market could be this 200-day. That's a very, very common pattern. We break the 50, move down toward that 200. So watch that carefully for that possibility. Today, it's about rushing in. We see the futures really surging heavily off the lows. So that fear of missing out may jump into the market here today, but be really, really careful as we approach some resistance 
resistance levels and just realize that's where the bears may have um, created their defenses. We could see those bears lining up in defense in areas like this where they are set and ready to attack. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at the spy. Now, SPY didn't have near as much technical damage as the Dow, but certainly an ugly breakdown. We left a pretty nasty gap here behind. And notice that our 50-day moving average is, at this point, just starting to flatten. No real major harm or damage there just yet, but we do have to recognize that our shorter-term averages could all be lining up in this area right in here to create that price resistance. Now, as, you, as we can see here in the pre-market, we're trying to push back up here in the SPY. Still underneath that 50-day, however, and don't rule out that possibility that we could rally back. Notice that we have a pretty significant level of price resistance right through here. So we could rally back, get back above that 50-day moving average, and still create that lower high. So be careful chasing um, into stocks. There could be that those issues as we rally back up. And one of the things we have to start seeing the um, the issues. You know, we're a consumer economy, and one of the things we're starting to experience um, is severe uh, supply chain problems. Um, we have heard that the Amazon Prime event that kicks off today. Um, or kicked off last night, I should say. Um, they are suggesting supply, um, businesses are suggesting they could run out of supplies on this big sales day that we're just not getting the, uh, the supplies that are normally readily available. So if we're a consumer environment and we can't get product, that could run us into some problems here in the near future, so watch for that as well. We also want to keep in mind that because it is Prime Day, um, oftentimes a lot of focus of, uh, of folks is trying to catch those great sales. So um, keep that in mind. Um, we could have a little lack of attention today, so watch this big pop in the morning. It could fizzle pretty quickly, or it even could create a short squeeze environment where we push and push and push and push and try to drive back up um, into um, resistance levels of the chart. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at the Qs. Interestingly enough, the QQQ was absolutely defiant as big tech held things up. Notice we held above support here. We're continuing to hold in our trend to the upside. So big tech is still holding the market up, albeit the majority of tech didn't do all that well. It was just some of the giants that really kind of held us up in that chart. So it's interesting to see, typically in high inflationary environments, tech is the least likely to rally. Um, it's interesting that it's exactly opposite of that right now. So keep a close eye on that. We could see this move on higher and that could help lift the entire markets back up, can provide a little bit of that. Uh, warm and fuzzy that the market's looking for right now. However, if it were to fail down through here, that could really bring in some fear in the market. And like I said last Friday, um, as if if tech joins in on the sell selling, if big tech joins in on the selling, be really careful because it could move significantly lower really fast. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at IWM, now IWM suffered some technical damage as well, breaking down through some kind of important support areas in the chart, breaking down through its 50-day moving average. But let's keep in mind that we have been in a wide-ranging chop here in IWM. So it may not be all of all that major. We could bounce right back up in above that 50-day. And notice we've been kind of tracking this 50-day relatively flat anyway. So we may just continue in this wide-ranging chop zone here in IWM. However, if the sellers do pick up, what we want to look for is if those sellers do pick up, we want to look for price support levels down in here. If we start dropping down into here, that could get a little bit painful um, in the market. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. 
Now, our VIX certainly registered a significant spike in fear on Friday, and that's likely going to pull back considerably today. But let's keep in mind that we're starting to see our 50-day moving average here in the VIX starting to flatten out and maybe actually starting to turn just a little bit to the upside. Notice that we broke this little downtrend that we've been running here in the VIX, and for uh, the first time in some time, we jumped back above our 20 handles here in that chart. Notice that we broke back through this resistance. Now I suspect this morning we're going to get a pullback from there and that's that that would be good. We want to stay underneath that area in here. But what we always have to be watchful for in the VIX is if we make that higher low. If we rally and pull back and make a higher low and then see that fear come back in. This would be where the real selling can begin. It's that second wave of the move that can really bring in some ugliness. So watch that closely um, if that were to occur. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And notice that Friday we closed down here in that bullish reversal zone. So we haven't been down here for a while, but notice that we didn't, we didn't go to an extreme. I know it probably felt like an extreme, but we really ended up the day not so much of an extreme. And I think it's just because the cues didn't um, join in on that selling. So keep in mind that we, where we are right here in the queues, we certainly have more opportunity to move to the downside, but we're showing futures this morning being very, very positive and productive. And so we may get that bounce in here. Let's watch how far that bounce goes. Be careful. We may be starting in that downtrend cycle here for a bit of period of time. So watch for a lot of volatility to be created in that. Um, but I do expect some kind of a relief rally here over the next few days. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now here's where a little bit of concern comes in guys. And I've mentioned this before. What we didn't want to see is we didn't want to see an increase in um, market breadth on the sell wave. And that's exactly what we ended up getting. Now, it wasn't severe because the cues didn't join in. Notice that we're still held underneath a little bit of price resistance right here in that market breadth chart. So watch that closely. But if this really starts to surge up on, on um, selling, that could be a clue for us to be careful and to be careful about rushing in and buying the dip. Um, it may be an environment that's well suited for very, very quick and experienced day traders and may be very, very challenging environment for swing and position traders because of the whipsaws and the overnight reversals. So be very, very careful, plan your risk carefully and don't become complacent thinking that the market will never sell off again because trust me, there will be a time that it will. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is a light one for today. We don't have much going on here this morning. Notice we got Chicago Fed activity and we've got some bond auctions and other that nothing happening here. Um, however, later this week, um, Tuesday, we've got um, existing home sales, PMI, new home sales and petroleum status on Wednesday. We've got durable goods, GDP, international trade and jobless claims on Thursday. Pretty big day right there. And then uh, personal incomes and consumer sentiment as we move through the week. But today, very light day, which means that you combine a light day of economic calendar with a light day on the earnings calendar and a um, Amazon Prime Day, we could see a lot of choppy price action um, as attention is being drawn other places because not a lot of inspiration in the market. Now, on that earnings calendar, we have five companies reporting earnings today. Well, we have five companies listed. We have only one as a um, confirmed report and not exactly what I would consider to be a major mover in the market. So 
keep a close eye on this. Um, NASPERS is going to be reporting today. Watch it. We've been in, in running in this little downtrend here on the chart. Watch that. That could be important as it reports earnings today. But that's really the only thing that is on that calendar as confirmed for today. So an, a light day in earnings as well. We may be running a little bit low on inspiration to get a lot going. That puts the bulls and bears kind of in a, in, in a full on battle here today. Um, both will be in full on battle dress and they'll be looking to make some gains. Um, but we could expect that possible whipsaw choppy price action to ensue shortly after the market opens. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up, guys. But before we do that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a quick favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I just wanna shout out to everyone. Thank you so much. We're right there at 21,500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, I truly appreciate it. And just a massive shout out to those folks who have been supporting the channel with the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video i truly truly appreciate it you guys honestly humble me every day and by the way if you want to help us continue to grow the channel click that thumbs up button leave those comments and remember the more engagement that we have in these videos the more they show these videos to more folks and we continue to grow thank you so much everyone now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up we're gonna to have to be really really careful here because there was a lot of technical damage created in charts here recently and we could bounce right back but there could also be some major problems showing up now of course i mentioned big tech um, um, as being one of the um, bright spots in the market let's take a look at microsoft here microsoft has been moving up in a nice little upside trend we had a little back and forth going on here the last couple of days. Let's note right in here that we're very, very close to making a new record high in Microsoft. So watch that carefully. If this continues to back and fill or consolidate in here, that possibility that that could pop on through to that upside and could be very, very bullish. I'm gonna have to also mention Apple. Um, Apple has been moving up nicely, notice we, sliding up here in this nice little trend we broke through some resistance levels in the chart we have some resistance levels that we're dealing with right in here and we also want to keep in mind that we are really kind of engaging this little downtrend in that chart if this can find that inspiration and pop on through up here apple may start to recover and move to the upside how about that intel intel uh, not intel um nvidia sorry nvidia um even though the market was stinking up the place nvidia had a big strong day uh pushing on up although it ended up giving up those gains um, by the end of the day but let's keep an eye on this this is a very very bullish chart we know this is going to have a um a stock split here soon so watch this as this wrestler pulls back that could set up the opportunity for that next entry to the upside so watch that carefully let's take a look at a few other stocks take a look at space here now space is kind of a speculation trade there's no doubt about it um, but let's notice right here that it broke through a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart and we've been consolidating that move in here so what you want to do is watch this for that opportunity that we're going to eventually pop through this little area here and we could see those bulls step in and start uh, pushing that to the upside watch that close take a look at fubo fubo continues to set up here it kind of had no damage at all in um, the selling that came in last week and so watch that right in here there's that nice little level if this can gain a little bit of energy and pop right on through fubo pretty nice looking chart 
I continue to hold box so I have a little bit of bias on this guys but box continues to hold up quite well I'm just looking for that bullish inspiration to happen in the market for that to push on through and possibly move up keep a close eye on that chart um, I also um, am keeping a pretty close eye on iHeart iHeart pushed on through my alert. Now, I wasn't here on Friday, so I didn't pick this up. My alert is in right in here. I'm not in this yet, but watch that closely. Nice upside trend continuing to stay in there. Really healthy, looking very, very good. Keep a close eye on that. Another place you may want to be looking, guys, is looking into some of the consumer staples areas. Um, if we are going to have inflation, if we are going to see the market correct, You'll see uh, oftentimes the market kind of shift to more of um, safety plays um, overall. Take a look at stocks like Coke that could bounce back up. Take a look at stocks like um, KHC that have sold off that could bounce back up. HSY, Hershey. Um, anything in that staples area as inflation starts to cause some problems, we're still going to want those things. Um, still going to need those things. Everybody's going to need to eat and they can bounce back. Other places, you know, take a look at TAP. Ugly, ugly sell off here. We'd want to wait for that next opportunity in the trade. But those simple stocks like that, um, uh, good dividend payers are where we could move back into if the market's going to get a little bit ugly. Last but not least, let's take a look at plug power here. Now there's been some conversation here recently with BMW coming out with a fuel celled car. And you can see um, um, watching plug power plug is very big into that fuel cell um, area let's watch that here we've been pushing down here but we're holding in on this in some support areas here in that chart watch for that inspiration maybe to maybe push on through to the upside if possible plug could start coming around for a pretty good chart to watch so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks for being here and thanks for all the kind support to the channel all the kind words the encouragement i truly truly appreciate it everyone have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning i wish you all great success